Hi, I'm Melissa Clark from the dining section, and I've got just the recipe to make when you're watching the big game this weekend. When you're watching the big game this weekend. The big game this weekend. The big game? Whatever. I've got the perfect recipe. Short rib chili nachos. The great thing about using short ribs instead of ground beef is that you get these really big, beautiful chunks of meat, and it makes it really easy to eat. So you can basically eat your nachos, which are basically a full meal, while you're watching the game. So what I have here is four pounds of bone-in short ribs, and I'm gonna season them really aggressively with salt and pepper. The reason that I want bone-in is because the bones add a lot of flavor to the sauce, even though you're gonna take them out later. Just let the seasoned meat rest while you char the aromatics for the sauce. An important step to making the chili is to char the aromatics really well. So I've got an onion here that I've quartered, I've got whole garlic cloves that I've peeled, and then these are jalapenos, half lengthwise. I'm gonna add these to a dry pan. You don't need any oil for this step. This is gonna take about 10 minutes for them to get really black, which is what you want. Once everything looks you know, blackened in spots, just transfer it to the blender. I'm gonna puree the aromatics with some salt, canned tomato, dried oregano, and then cilantro stems. And I've saved the leaves to garnish it at the end. You want a fairly smooth puree, but you don't have to worry about every little chili seed. It'll be fine. And now I'm gonna brown all of the meat using a little bit of oil, just a couple of tablespoons. You're probably gonna have to brown the meat in batches. I know that it doesn't all fit in one layer in my pan. Take your time with the browning. You really want to get it brown on all sides. This could take 20 minutes and that's okay. Don't move it around very much. Just let it sit in one spot. It'll get a better, more even sear if you just leave it alone. Then as the meat gets nice and brown, just transfer it over to a bowl so that you have room to do the rest. Now that the meat's been browned, you're just gonna bloom the spices and the tomato paste right in the same fat in the pan. Don't worry, you can take the fat off later. So I've got cumin, coriander, and really good chili powder. Just saute them around for a few seconds. Once you start to smell the spicy scent, you can add the tomato paste. Which is right now. For the exact recipe, go to nytimes.com slash dining. And then just stir the tomato paste around in the spices until it starts to turn golden. Now I'm going to add my chili puree back into the pan. And a bottle of beer. Once the sauce starts to simmer, I'm gonna add the meat right back into the pan, cover it, and put it in a 325 degree oven until the meat is just falling off the bones, about two hours. So this is a batch of chili that I made earlier. I let it cool and then I took all the fat off the top. And now what I'm gonna do is just pull the meat off the bones. And then when you're shredding up the meat, you might see some pieces of fat. You could just take those off and discard them. Once your meat's all shredded, just warm it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be hot, but it should be thoroughly warm. And then spoon it over a rimmed baking sheet full of regular old tortilla chips. You can make the chili up to five days ahead, shred it, get it all ready, and then just leave it in the fridge. Then just reheat it right before you wanna make the nachos. Now I'm gonna cover the chili with a thick layer of grated white cheddar cheese. Then just run this under the broiler for about two minutes until the cheese gets melted and the meat gets really hot. Okay, now that the cheese is all melted and gooey, you can dress this up however you like. I'm gonna add some salsa. This is a, a green a salsa verde. You can use regular salsa. I didn't make this, I bought it. You can make it if you want. Now I've got some sour cream here. Yum. You could also use Mexican crema if you can get that. This is a um, homemade guacamole. You could buy it. This really doesn't need the guacamole, but I mean, at this point, why not, right? Just a little bit of cilantro to uh, freshen things up. Okay, I think I'm finally ready for the big game. Short rib chili nachos. My friends are gonna be so surprised.